Kind of Gold, we're going to Daredevil himself, Mr. Mad Murder. How are you, man? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm really excited here. This is my first Comic Con. This is not oh, your very first cool. Comic-Con, right? It's my second. It's my second rodeo. Punisher and Elektra. God, this is so amazing. The fans at Comic Con are the best, man. It's 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 passion and intelligence. You know, it's it's uh, the smartest fans in the world, and they care the most. You know, it's 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 a joy to be in this in this world. You know. Foggy and Karen themselves, how are you guys? Good. Yeah, you're doing great. Thanks. The Mr. of Mr. the God upon all the series of Marvel. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. What can we expect about uh, Punisher, for example? I mean, uh, we all love the violence, we all love the stunts. Yeah. What's new for this character on this new season? Well, look, you know, obviously there's uh, there's there, there's not too much that we can we, we yeah, can sure. say. You know, they're, 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 they're watching us every second, man, <laughs> and you. Uh, but, uh, you know, look, I think that, um, you know, I think what we're going after, it's it's, it's an incredible team that, that, that makes this show. Uh, I'm, I'm real honored to be a part of this cast and this crew. The DA's office says the shooter's independent. He's tracking gangs to their home turf and taking them out with military precision. How do you feel now with, uh, you know, you have all this success. You ever thought that when you release first season, you, you, you were going to have such fan base and such a great reaction to the show? No, of course not. I mean, I don't think you can ever expect that. And it's really, you know, it's more than anything. It's I, I was just saying before, I was so nervous last year because obviously the show had been released and, and there's so much anticipation and expectation that, 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 uh, for the show to be good. And, and um, you know, now that it has come out and the first season was so well received, it's really nice to come here and, and, and try to enjoy it a little bit more. You know, there's a sense of relief for sure. <laughs> Did you ever thought you were going to have such a big reaction to the show? Uh, we hoped. Um, I had a good feeling about it going in. You know, working with these guys, I you know I knew they were all doing a really good job. So uh, it's really nice. You know, ultimately, that's we want people to enjoy it. So realizing that people are invested is, is what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, you while you're shooting it, you're kind of in a vacuum. You're like, I know Eldon cares. I know Charlie cares. I know I care. But does anyone else care? So it's nice to come here and see that. That's oh right. This is what we're doing it for. Does that sound good to you? Oh yeah, it does. How, how do you decide, like for example, on season two of Daredevil? How do you decide? Well, we want to go with Punisher, and we want to go to for for Elektra, and no the other way. How do you decide that? You know, that really starts with uh, our group at Marvel Television, right. and we sit down and we start to talk about what we think the next story ought to be. Right. Um, we meet with the showrunners. The showrunners then sort of give us the best take as to what they want to do with that story, uh, and then we bring the whole thing to our partners at Netflix, and then together we decide, okay, this is the story we're going to tell. Of course, we have new characters here on the on, on, on the series we have Punisher we have Electra are we going to see some uh, relationships with, with him you, uh, you guys with Foggy and Karen with these characters I don't know if I'm allowed to say that but I will tell you that uh, I think people are really going to respond to to John and Elodie they're doing a great job and I think the fans are going to love it and then the real the key to it all uh, in many ways is once we've got great scripts is to find the right cast uh, and to have Elodie Young join us as Electra and to have John Barenthal join us as Frank Castle uh, you know it just continues this beautiful arrangement that we have with cast and, and story I think that things that really worked from last season, they're trying to sort of double down on that. It's a gritty, authentic, uh, lived-in part of the city. Now, now the second season, we obviously have more characters, more uh, history to tell. What can you tell me about uh, your relationship, or Daredevil's and Mad Murder's relationship with Punisher and Electro? Uh, you know, I think both of those relationships are very complicated. When Matt Murdock and, and, and uh, Frank Castle kind of but heads, it's not as simple as you think, as you might think, it, you, or you, one might like it to be. Both the Daredevil and Frank Castle engage in vigilante justice, and so you know, as much as they may disagree in, in the methods, you, one can, can't help but compare the two. And I think that brings a, a, a great amount of emotional kind of disturbance for both the characters. Maybe we created him. 
All of us. There's no connection. We never stop to think that Daredevil's actions could open the door for men like this. It's dark, for lack of a better word. And, um, you know, I think that the same sort of richness and, and, and uh, you know, the dynamic that, that, that you know, Charlie was able to bring, you know, that's, that's you know, kind of our goal. He set the, the bar right. extremely high and, you know, we're just trying to, uh, we're just trying to live up to it. Obviously one thing that everyone loved for the first season was all the uh, graphic violence and the fights. Are we going to see more than this second season? Yep. Yeah? Yep. You got some bruise on you, man? Or always, so? man. Always. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I'm pretty banged up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So is it really uh, like, like a really physical challenge for yeah. you? Is it harder this time? Is it uh, easier? I don't know. Well, it's probably harder because because you know as I've as we've done the first season and, and you know I've got I've done more and more of the stunts and I've got you know I've got better at it so I'm able to do more. So yeah, you it's a, it's it's a it's a, as you say it's a real physical challenge. You know, really it's really tough to get out of bed sometimes. But <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that. Uh, uh, pretty sore, but um, but uh, but it's I love it. It's great fun as well. So I would you know there's absolutely no complaints. It's a, what a great challenge challenge to have, you know, and, uh, you know, John and I have been going at it at each other for a, for a number of weeks now, and it's been really fun. Blood is being shed, and you've donated more than your fair share. The city needs him. I need to take care of the scum that killed my family. So can you tell me what about uh, all the work, all the, I don't know, all the action on set, how how do you um, get to balance that? You know, it's it's a it can be a tough balance. I'm I'm lucky though. I don't uh, I don't have to work as much as Charlie does, <laughs> and so I also feel like I can't ever complain because he never complains. You know, so uh, it's it's really great though. I feel really lucky. Um, no, I mean yeah, it's a privilege. Sets can be really hard, and ours is so great. I mean, we just have the best crew and great directors and writers and like amazing co-actors. So I look forward to coming to work every single day. Uh, obviously, we have well, furniture is really good at weapons, you know, how it's Daredevil gonna uh, approach this new threat, this new enemy, this new friend, foe, who knows? Yeah, well, he has to think outside the box and he has to think, you know, he has to, he has to be smarter in different ways because obviously, you know, Daredevil doesn't use weapons, not what doesn't use, uh, you know, firepower and the Punisher does and, and that's, that, that, that causes a huge amount of turmoil and a huge amount of problems for, for Daredevil and his city that he loves, so, uh, he's, you know, we'll see. <laughs> People don't have to die. You hit them and they get back up. I hit them and they stay down. Why are you doing this? Because I think you're a half measure. Finally, uh, one of the greatest quotes on the first season was avocados at law. <laughs> so in Mexico, avocado is aguacate. So you're an aguacate at law. <laughs> right on. Very cool. <laughs> Good to know. We all know Civil War is coming. So not as your characters, but as John and not, not as Electra. Which one we prefer? Captain America or Iron Man? Captain America? Yes. Were you on this side? Oh, yes. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on your side. Yeah. What about you, man? Sorry. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. I, don't, I just want to see a good fight, man. All oh, right. Yeah, I'm awesome. Just in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Iron Man or Captain America? Oh, I'm not. So I'm not. No, I, I'm not answering. <laughs> no, like, no, Char Charlie Cox. Uh, which one do I prefer? Yeah, I think Captain America. Really? Yeah, I, just because, just because the, uh, just because the the Winter Soldier was so badass. Man. I love that. Everyone so. <laughs> loved it. Yeah, man. yeah. Was really awesome, good. man. Thank you very much. It's been a Thank pleasure. you, my friend. Nice to Thank talk you. to you. Again. I think you're a man who can't finish the job. I think that you're a coward. Okay. <laughs> it's not that great, you know. <laughs> no, it's been great. It's been wonderful. And you know, yesterday we, I got the, uh, like, my few of my interviews were cancelled, so I went off into the city and, and walked around and went to Cafe de Cuba and had done oh, a nice. very authentic meal. It was brilliant. Yeah, I'd love it.